Hello everyone, welcome to Open Plan Tech Tip uh, Tuesday. Uh, my name is Abbas Ali Zaidi, and today we're going to look at a question uh, as to how to change connection criteria across all joints and add additional attributes uh, uh, to check. So I, I have a sample uh, drawing here. Um, in Open Plant, uh, all the connections uh, are uh, intelligent in terms that uh, whenever we join two components, uh, we do check at their end conditions, what type of constraints that end condition uh, specifies in terms of joint definition and what type of fasteners can be placed. And uh, based on these connection criteria and the joint definition, a joint is formed between uh, two uh, components uh, with the appropriate uh, fasteners. However, uh, uh, there are certain mandatory attributes uh, that are common uh, for connection across all the joints. So these are independent of individual joint definition. So for instance, uh, when I place uh, the uh, flange, uh, we check for rating and facing uh, for the connecting uh, uh, components and uh, appropriately uh, add the two fasteners. Now this criteria, uh, all these checking and attributes check for this particular joint is uh, everything is defined in the uh, in the joints definition. However, if I tried to place say a 20 millimeter flange uh, with a much larger diameter flange, I get an incompatibility dialog. So this uh, basically uh, is a nominal diameter attribute check that is applicable for uh, all the joints uh, and across all the joint definitions. So this is sort of a mandatory uh, check. Besides these mandatory checks, uh, there are um, optional attributes as well. Um, for instance, if I change the and specification to, uh, uh, place components, I get prompted that the, although I can uh, do placement here, there's an allow placement button uh, present in this dialog, but I do get a notification, uh, you know, which can serve as a warning or just as uh, to highlight a particular information to the user uh, that uh, this is a this is a change in the values of for this particular attribute across this joint, uh, but I can still uh, continue and place it. So we call this uh, optional uh, attribute uh, criteria, uh, which is also applicable across uh, all the joint definitions. So let's look at how we can uh, configure and customize these. So let me close the placement dialog and. Uh, open up the configuration uh, variables dialog and i will search for keyword attributes to check so when i do that uh, i see a bunch of configuration variables uh, for the sake of uh, today's uh, uh, question we'll just look at the first two which are opm attributes to check and opm optional attributes to check so this one the opm attributes to check is uh, is is the mandatory criteria if this doesn't match, uh, we do not allow uh, the uh, connection. And uh, for the optional attributes to check uh, out of the box, we have only specifications specified here. So we do allow uh, the join, but just uh, as an information uh, prompt user uh, so that he knows uh, uh, that there is a certain mismatch of uh, inf information. We can easily customize this. Uh, we can edit these configuration variable and maybe let's me just uh, maybe add a specification here. I'll hit OK and I can remove specification from optional and hit save. So now when I go and place my pipe. I get prompted that, hey, my specification is different and I do not allow uh, placement. Uh, if uh, let's change the size and see how it looks. So if I change the size now and try to do the same placement, uh, I get uh, you know notification for both the attributes which are now in my configuration variable that uh, we are not allowing the connection 
because this compatibility check failed uh, because of these two attributes. So in this way, uh, you can uh, quickly uh, add uh, a particular connection uh, or compatibility attribute across all the joints. However, if, if we change these configuration variables or if we add attributes to check in these, these will be applicable for across all the project if you're doing the changes in the project CFG file, depending upon what the requirement is, uh, this needs to be uh, carefully uh, con considered. Uh, you can always change or set up these attributes in uh, project administrator. So if uh, in your project, you can uh, search up for these attributes and uh, change it here. The, and the settings then will be applicable for your uh, overall uh, complete project. So I hope uh, this was helpful. Thanks for watching today's uh, tech tip. Uh, see you next time.